Hey guys, welcome to the next video on OpenCV tutorials for beginners using Python. In the last video, we have started our simple project of detecting lane lines on the road using OpenCV. And we came to the point where we were able to define our region of interest and our result was looking like this. So let me run this uh, project. So we have defined this region of interest and now the only thing which remains here is to detect these lane lines. So we will uh, once again uh, go to the next step and the next step will be to find out the edges and then we are going to apply half line transform to draw the lines. So first thing first what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move this uh, region of interest function which we have created in the last video on the top of uh, this uh, script so we can see uh, this other code clearly this code which we have written so we have uh, this region of interest uh, function which we have created then uh, we have uh, just created uh, this region of interest variable and then we just uh, used our region of interest function using this region of interest vertices variable so the next step, as I said, is to find out the edges. And for that, we need to first convert our image into a grayscale image. So I'm going to just say a gray image. And then we all know how to find out the gray uh, scale image out of uh, an image. So we just need to write CVT color and the source is our cropped image. So we are going to pass the, our cropped image and then we are going to just convert it into a grayscale image using CV2 dot color underscore RGB2 gray. So let's do this. So once we got our grayscale image, we can apply Kenny edge detection on this image. So I'm going to just uh, write Kenny image and then I'm going to just say cv2 dot Kenny which is uh, the function which we want to use which takes few parameter first parameter will be our uh, grayscale image the second parameter will be the first threshold and the second threshold so generally uh, we are going to take here 100 as the first threshold and 200 as the second threshold now in the next step we are going to just uh, display this image on our matplotlib window and let's see what happens once uh, we apply this Kenny edge detection method on the image. So now you can see this result which detects all the edges and here you can see the lane line edges are detected but there is one more thing here which is the edges of our region of interest are also detected so how to solve this how to remove these edges because these edges doesn't interest us the interesting uh, edges here in this image uh, for us are these edges which are of the lanes road lanes right so to solve this problem we can apply this canny edge detection before we uh, find out the region of interest. So I'm going to just copy uh, this code and paste it just before we uh, apply this region of interest method which we have created in the last video. So now in our Kenny edge detection, uh, we will pass the grayscale image, but here instead of uh, this uh, uh, cropped image, which we were getting in the last step from uh, this variable, we directly are going to pass our image which we have read using the I am read method right so let me just uh, remove all these line breaks so you will be able to see the code at once so here you can see I have directly passed now uh, this uh, image variable to the CVT color method so we get the grayscale image of the original image and then we apply the Kenny uh, edge detection on the original image and then we are applying the region of interest method which we have created in the last video. Now because uh, we are applying uh, this uh, uh, 
region of interest method on the grayscale image or the edge detected image. Therefore, we don't uh, need this channel here. So we can comment out this code, which was kind of counting out uh, the number of channels. And for uh, the grayscale image and the Kenny uh, edge detected image, we just take this match mask color as 255 because it's only one color, right? We don't uh, need any uh, color channels here because we are just passing the grayscale image which has only one color. So that's why we don't need any uh, channel because there will be only one channel. And that's why I have commented this code and uh, the value of uh, the match mask color will be 255 now. Once you do that, let's try to run uh, this code and let's see what happens. Uh, once again, we need to load uh, the cropped image, not the Kenny image. So just uh, replace this uh, variable here in the I am show uh, method and let's run this code once again. So you can see now uh, there is some uh, mistake here because we were expecting the edge detected image and we are getting this image. So let's see what the problem is. So the problem I see here is because we have applied this region of interest on the original image, which we don't want now. We want to apply this uh, uh, region of interest on the Kenny edge detected image. So we have to pass as the first variable of the region of interest method, this Kenny uh, edge detected image, not the original image, right? So once again, for you, you can see this code region of interest method and all this code at uh, one glance. Let's run the code and let's see what happens. So now we get the better result. So we uh, have these edges which are detected by the Kenny edge detection for only the lane lines inside our region of interest. And now it will be easier to draw the lines on these edges which we have detected. So the next step will be to draw the lines on these edges using the half line transform. So we have in the previous videos have already seen how to use the half line transform. So I'm not going to go into the details. So let's uh, just directly jump into uh, using that half line transform. So what we are going to do is in the next line after we have uh, got our uh, cropped image, we are going to just uh, define a variable called uh, lines and we are going to use this half line transform probabilistic half line tra transform method. So here cv2 dot uh, half line transform and this will be this method which takes few argument first argument will be the image so i'm going to pass this uh, cropped image here the second argument here will be the value of row so let's uh, provide uh, this uh, row value variable value which will be uh, six in our case then in the next parameter we have to pass the value of theta and theta will be uh, equal to np dot uh, pi which is the method inside the numpy library so np dot uh, pi divided by 60 so i'm going to pass here divided by 60 then the next parameter here will be the threshold so the threshold value we are going to provide here will be 160 the next parameter here will be uh, lines which is equal to none by default so i'm going to uh, provide this uh, variable lines is equal to and then uh, we are going to pass the empty uh, numpy array so i'm going to just say uh, numpy and p dot array and then we are going to just pass the blank uh, square bracket here the next two parameters will be the min line length so let's pro provide this uh, min line length and let's say we want uh, 40 as the minimum line length and the max line gap. So let's provide that also max line gap. And this will be, uh, let's say initial value for that will be 25. So now after applying this half line transform, you know that it's going to return the line vector of uh, all the lines which are detected inside our image, which we have provided as the source here. 
So if you don't know what are these parameters which I'm using here, you can see my uh, last videos about uh, probabilistic half line transform and you will be able to uh, know what they actually mean. Now, once we got our line uh, vectors, then we can draw uh, the lines easily. And for that, we are going to define our uh, next function, which is to draw the lines. So I'm going to just define this function uh, with the name uh, draw the lines, for example, and it's going to take few parameters. So let's pass these parameters. First parameter will be the image or uh, the original image. The second parameter will be the line vectors which we have uh, found out and uh, that's it. So there are these two uh, parameters we are going to pass here. Now uh, inside this uh, function what we are going to do is we are going to first of all uh, copy our image. So I'm going to just say img is equal to np dot copy and uh, then we are going to just make a copy of uh, the image variable which we are providing and then or you can uh, write here copy image whatever i'm just uh, just uh, uh, reassigning this copied uh, image to the same variable but you can define a new uh, variable here for the copied image also now in the next line we are going to create a blank image that matches the original image size so the dimension should be uh, equal so for this we can uh, just say uh, line image and then we are going to just say np dot zeros inside these parentheses we are going to uh, provide the shape of our image right so you can uh, provide the shape of our image using the image variable so first of all it's going to take the uh, height and then the width and then the number of channels so because we know that this is a colored image which we are uh, working with so we are going to just say img dot uh, shape and we all know that the zeroth uh, index parameter here will be the height the second parameter img dot shape the value at the first index will be the width and the number of channel for the colored image are always three so we are going to provide the third parameter as three here so this is in the form of tuple i'm providing and the next parameter here will be the data type or d type so let's uh, provide that d type is equal to numpy dot uint 8 okay so uint 8 not unint 8 uint 8 so this will be uh, the second uh, parameter so once we have uh, this image which is exactly same as the size of our original image we are uh, going to loop around these line vectors and then we are going to draw the lines right so let's loop around these uh, line vectors and uh, draw all these lines which were found so for that we are going to use the for loop and then we are going to say line in lines and these this lines variable is coming from uh, this lines variable so we are going to use this draw lines function and we are going to pass this lines vector as the second parameter here so this is how uh, th this line variable is coming here so now inside uh, this for loop we are going to uh, just define one more for loop because this line is going to give us uh, four parameters which is uh, the coordinates of the first point in the line and the coordinates of the second point in the line so we are going to just once again say for x1 which is the first coordinate of the first point and the y1 and then similarly x2 and the y2 so this will be uh, the line coordinate in the line uh, which we got from the line vector and then inside this uh, for loop we are going to draw a line and uh, drawing line is really easy by using cv2.line method which takes uh, 
few parameters as you already know the image and then the second parameter is the coordinate of the first point which we already have using uh, this iteration which is x1 comma y1 and third parameter here will be the coordinates of the second point x2 comma y2 and then you can uh, provide the color and thickness so let's uh, provide this color so the color here i'm going to take let's say 0 comma 255 comma 0 you can take any uh, color here and the thickness so the thickness here i'm going to take is uh, let's provide this parameter thickness is equal to 3 okay so this is the thickness of the line which we want to draw and here i think this blank image should uh, be uh, uh, given because we want to draw the line on the blank image and then merge it with the original image so here we have to provide this line image or you can say this is the blank image which is more appropriate in this uh, case so we want to draw the line on the blank image which is of the same size of the original image and now once we draw these lines on the blank image we can merge this blank image and the original image which will uh, give us the a line which are drawn on the original image so outside this for loop we are going to merge the image with the lines into the original image so our original image is the image uh, itself so image variable is the our original image and then we are going to just say cv2 dot add weighted this function also we have seen in the last videos and this is the function which we use to merge two images with some weights so the first parameter here will be image now the second parameter here will be uh, the value of alpha so which uh, we are going to give here eight this is uh, like a weight to an image uh, which we want to provide and then the third parameter here will be the second image so we want to merge the blank image with the original image the fourth parameter is the value of uh, beta so uh, this value we are going to take as one and the last value will be of uh, gamma so gamma we are going to take as uh, 0, 0.0 here okay so this add weighted also we have uh, seen uh, uh, in the last video how to use it so i'm not going into the details and at last once we have the uh, lines on the image then we are going to simply return it so let's uh, return this uh, image img so once we have this function we are going to call this function after applying the half line transform method which is the probabilistic half line transform so here in the next line we are going to just define a variable called image with uh, lines let's say is equal to our method which is draw the lines method the first argument is the original image so we are going to pass the original image the second argument is the line vector which we got from this method right so the original image and the line uh, vector variable which we got here at last we are going to just uh, see what is the result which we got after applying this draw the lines method on the original image so let's run this uh, code and let's see what happens so now you can see let me just maximize it you can see this line is drawn on our image so this is the first line and this is the second line so we got the result which we wanted if you want to change the thickness or uh, the color of uh, this uh, line on the image you can uh, just change it using this draw lines uh, method so this is the line and thickness uh, parameter so for example i want to change this to uh, 255 here some different color and the thickness let's say 4 and i'm going to run this code and now you can see this yellow color here right so you can change the thickness and the color using uh, this method so let's say for now we want uh, the red color so we are going to go with this uh, 
red color on the lane lines so this is what we wanted to achieve we wanted to draw the lane lines on these lanes and we have achieved this in the next video we are going to see how we can apply the same concept on a live video or on a video of uh, this road for example so for example this car is running on the road and we want to continuously draw these lines on the lane lines how we can achieve this using OpenCV we are going to see in the next video so that's it for this video i will see you in the next video